Good morning everybody, welcome back to PE with Joe. It's Thursday, oh no, Thursday, Tuesday the 9th of June and today I've got a really fun quiz lined up for you. It's about movies, so cartoons, Disney, animated movies, it's a fun family quiz, 20 questions, I think you're going to love it. I'm going to start in 15 seconds time, we're going to have a three and a half minute warm up. Are you ready for a great workout today? I said, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, it's a cartwheel Tuesday kind of day. Yes, that's the kind of energy I'm going for. I've even let my hair down, so yes. Right, we're gonna do a three minute, 20 second warm up. First one I'm gonna do, starting off is arms out and toe touch, and we're off. Let's go, left to right, I've moved my quiz. Right, so we've got 20 questions. I've made up 20 good questions that are sort of different age groups, we've got different types of movies, and I'm hoping there's ones that even adults will love. We've got some Toy Story, we've got some Home Alone in there. Touching those toes, left to right, I can't see anything! I can't, my hair, I've never, this is the longest my hair has ever been. It's ridiculous, right. Next one, so big stretch, lunge, and stretch. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's workout. So that was the alphabet workout, today's quiz, and we're gonna be doing 20 exercises. We've got 35 seconds of work on the first one, big circles, 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest, then we have our two minute rest, and then we go 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, and then we're gonna finish with our five minute ab finisher. Right, next one we're gonna do is gonna be walk out. So hands on the ground, walk out, and then twist, and twist, good. Walk out a couple more times. My body's so stiff, I did some boxing with Rosie, you know, like the pads and stuff, and oh, I can't believe how much my body aches today. So stiff, and the punching and the padding. Right, left to right, Tw I can't see anything. Right, next one, big step with the hand, so big step with the foot to the hand, hold that stretch. Perfect, keep going. Just get those feet if you can, right by the hands. Feel that stretch. Okay, next one we're gonna do, one leg in front of the other, just uh, bend forward and then stretch the hamstring. So lean to the hip flexor, hamstring. Right, we're doing really well already, this is our warm up. I might kick it off, question number one. Are you ready for quiz? Oh, there's, also we've got one, two, one, two, three, right, change your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, seven, spot the differences. So big stretch, hamstring, hip flexor, perfect. Okay, next I wanna do is sitting on our bottoms. Okay, so question number one. What is Elsa's younger sister's name in Frozen? What is Elsa's little sister's name in Frozen? So bring your knee to the ground, knee to the ground. Good, open up those hips. The answer is, Elsa's younger sister's name is Anna. Right, next one, standing up. We're gonna now do some twists. So left to right, twist the body. Oh, that's what's hurting all down here from all this punching that we were doing. Right, a few more twists. Okay, so we're starting in 15 seconds time. Nice and simple, we're gonna start off by doing 35 seconds of running on the spot, high energy, lift our heart rate, and go for it, okay, in seven seconds. Question number two is coming up. Three, two, one, let's go, so run. Okay, question number two on the quiz. What, which famous family's dog is named Santa's Little Helper? Which family has a dog called Santa's Little Helper? I know this one, come on, 20 seconds. Oh. Keep it going, nice and fast. Lift those knees up, arms nice and straight, pump the arms. Okay, the answer is, the family with a dog named Santa's Little Helper is the Simpsons. Who loves the Simpsons? I do, I love it, I love the Simpsons. Right, 25 seconds rest. We're now gonna go into nice, simple, just basic squats, so we're gonna go down and up for 35 seconds. Question number three. What kind of animal is Mr. Pricklepants in Toy Story 3? 
What kind of animal is Mr. Pricklepants in Toy Story 3? Okay, off we go. Squat down and stand up tall, good. Take your time with the squats, keeping your back nice and straight. Your weight's in the heels of the feet. You drive up and you stand up tall. So what kind of animal is Mr. Pricklepants in Toy Story 3? That's another great movie. Right, 10 seconds. So come on, who's been a minute? Who cried at the end of Toy Story 3? I did. Oh, that was a tearjerker. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so Mr. Pricklepants in Toy Story 3 is a hedgehog. So well done if you got that point right. Okay, next one I'm going to do, we're going to do reverse lunges. So nice straight back, again another lower body exercise, keeping that back straight and we step back into that reverse lunge. Question number four. Oh, another Simpsons one. Which member of the Simpsons family is a vegetarian? Which member of the Simpsons family is a vegetarian? So they don't eat meat. Right, nice big step back. The answer is the character in Simpsons who doesn't eat meat, who is a vegetarian, is Lisa. Lisa's a vegetarian, she only eats vegetables. Nice big step backwards. Good, come on. Step back, three, two, one. Relax, perfect. We're now gonna go down on the ground floor. Some push-ups, so upper body exercise. Remember, from this position here, you're on the knees, you come down, push up, or you do the full push-ups. Whatever works for you. Here we go, in seven seconds time. Next question, number five. In the film Matilda, what does lavender put in Miss Tr Trunchbull's water jug? Right, let's go, push-ups. So, in the film Matilda, what does lavender put in the Trunchbull's water jug? Is it A, a flower, B, a newt, or C, a bogey? Right, keep going, push-ups. Come on, down and up. As many as you can in the 35 second time slot. Come on, everybody. Let's work hard today. Bend those elbows and press. Ooh. Come on, let's go. Keep working. Last few reps. And relax, fantastic. Okay, question number five was, in the film Matilda, what does Lavender put in the transport water jug? If you remember, she puts a newt. A newt, she puts in the newt, a newt in the water, in the jug. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, same again in this position. We're gonna walk our feet in and out. So in, out, in, out, okay? All the way to 35 seconds, off we go. Question number six. In the film Up, what badge is Russell missing? So in the film Up, what badge is Russell missing? Step in and out. I love that movie. I just watched that the other day with Indy again. It's so good. You know, when they get all the balloons and they tie them to the house and they fly up in the sky. So the little boy's called Russell. And what badge is he, is he missing? What's, what badge is he trying to earn? Right, in, out, in, well done, and relax. Okay, right, rest those arms a little bit. Cardio move now. We're gonna climb the ladder. So hands above the head, running on the spot. The answer was, he is missing the assisting the elderly badge. So that's why he's trying to help the old man in the house. He's trying to assist the elderly. Just being nice and kind. Okay, right, climb that ladder. Go as fast as you can. Ooh. Come on, let's go. 35 seconds. Okay, the quiz is doing really well so far. If you got the questions right, congratulations. Fun quiz. Next one, number seven. What was the first ever Disney film in 1937? What was the first ever Disney film in 1937? Nick, did you know that one? What is it? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Nick, you got it right. Right, faster. Nice and quick. Three, two, one. And relax, fantastic, okay. The answer was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first ever Disney movie in 1937. Okay, we're gonna go straight in. Tough exercise now. We go down, one, two, and up. So you go two thrusters, one, two, 
and up. Let's go. One, two, and up. One, two, and up. Good. Repeat that. So two thrusters, one burpee. Two thrusters, one burpee. Next question. What is Captain America's real name? What is Captain America's real name? We've got 15 seconds. Two thrusters. And then jump off the ground. Come on, two thrusters. And then big jump. Last rep, last one. And relax, fantastic. Right, the answer is, Captain America's real name is Steve Rogers. Oh, right, catch your breath. We're now gonna do one of my favorites, the truffle shuffle. So left to right as quick as you can. Getting left to the right, move, move along the room or the, or the playground or wherever you are. Right, let's go. So touch the ground, shuffle, come on, keep going. Move that body nice and quick. Move across the room, fast as you can. So number eight was Captain America's real name is Steve Rogers. Come on. Right, last little push, 10 seconds, quicker. Left, right, left, fingertips touch the ground. Right, oh, I've got to tie it up. I can't deal with it. Right, next exercise. We are gonna be doing a squat hold, okay? So we're gonna hold a squat. Oh, that's better. So we're gonna come down and hold that position for 35 seconds. Are you ready for it? It's gonna burn. Okay, right, so question number nine. Um, what job is assigned to Remy by his dad in Ratatouille? So Remy is the rat in Ratatouille. What job does his dad give him in the start of the movie? What job does he get? Right, hold, keep that back straight, weight in the heels, feel it in the legs. Come on, hold it. 10 seconds, ow. Hold, hold strong. Don't come up, Judge. Stay down, stay down. Oh, that's so hard. Fantastic effort. The answer is Remy is given the job as a poison chef because he's got an amazing sense of smell. He has to sniff all the food to make sure it's not been poisoned for the rats. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna start like this and we're gonna do crab walks. Back and forward. The idea is to keep yourself off the ground. So walk, keep the bottom up high off the ground. Walk back and forwards. Lifting yourself up, try not to let your Bottom hit the ground. Good. So crab walks forwards, back. Oh, it's quite tough for me that one. Right, keep it going everybody. You've got 15 seconds on the crab walks, then we have a two minute rest. Keep going, keep going. Last question before we have a break. Number 10, what is the name of the rooster in Moana? What is the name of the rooster in Moana? Five seconds, four, keep crab walking. Three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic, very good effort. We've now done 10 minutes. We have a two minute break. The answer is, the name of the rooster in Moana is Hey Hey. So that's a really good question. Well done, we've done 10. We've got 10 to go. And I've got a little surprise for you for the second half. Are you ready for it? Wait there then. Here it comes. Here's a surprise. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So second half, we're gonna go wheelie, wheelie, wheelie crazy and spin the wheel. And whatever it lands on will be the exercise we choose. And it's gonna be 40 seconds of work. 20 seconds rest, so more effort, more intensity, and we've still got 10 more questions on the quiz. So, we've got a minute and 20 on the clock. Let's do a few shout outs, everybody. Good morning to Arlo in Warren Mead School in Epsom. Hello, Lucy and Johnny in Derbyshire. We've got, mum and, we've got mum and Jessica training together in Australia, all the way down under. So all the way over here, look. With Pia and Ben, that's a big family. 50 seconds on the clock and I'm spinning the wheel. Hello to the Monroe family over here in Scotland. Up there, look. 
everyone at Stoke Fleming Primary School in Devon, have a great workout. Here we go, I'm spinning this wheel now, so it's a big spin, and whatever it lands on is the exercise that we do, and we do 40 seconds on the exercise. Mega spin, come on. Let's go, let's do this. Let's do this, come on. Now we're gonna really turn up. We've done our first 10 minutes, we've done the warm up, now we're gonna kick in. All right, here we go, we have got squats. So nice and simple, you can do squats, or if you wanna make it tougher, you do squat jumps for 40 seconds. Here we go, in three, no sorry, in five, Four, three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna try some jumps. Oh, sorry, wrong timer. Didn't set me up a timer. Part two, part two, part two, part two. 40 seconds starting now. Let's go, so 40 seconds of jumps. Okay, question number 11. What is the name of the restaurant in Toy Story 1 where Buzz and Woody go to find Andy? What is the name of the restaurant in Toy Story 1 where Buzz and Woody go to find Andy when they're losing? Right, so keep going. If the jumps are too tough, just do normal squats. Keeping that back straight, stand up tall each time. Think about tensing your quads and your glutes, and you want to keep that back straight as you drive through the hills. So the answer is the restaurant they go to find Andy is called Pizza Planet. Three, two, one, and relax. Here we go, spin. What's it gonna land on now? What's it gonna be? We've got spidey lunges. So there we go, spidey lunges. Remember we go left and right, okay? Here we go, time is kicking up in three seconds. Two, one, okay. Next question, number 12. In the Roald Dahl movie, The Witches, who is the first person to be turned into a mouse? Who is the first little boy to be turned into a mouse in one of my favorite movies, The Witches? And I've just seen, oh no, they're doing a hocus pocus too. They're doing a hocus pocus, not a witch's too. Right, left to right. Spidey lunge, get down low. So who is the first person to be turned into a mouse in the movie? The witches. Oh, the answer is, is Bruno. Remember when she comes in and she says, come to me Bruno, she turns into a mouse. Right, here we go for a spin. Right, here we go, come on, what's next? What is going to come next for us on the Wheel of Fortune? We've got press ups, down the ground. Push up, release the hands, and up. So push up, release the hands, make sure you get right down, hands, and push. You can do these on the knees as well. Just make sure you lift the hands off the ground, like a tiny little inch, and press, good. Come on, keep pushing. Next question, number 13. Doing your push-ups, you've got 20 seconds of push-ups. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Complete the quote from Buzz. Complete this quote from Buzz in Home Alone 2. Beat that, you little... Come on, keep going, 10 seconds. Come on, let's go, keep pushing. Last couple of reps. So finish the quote. In, in Toy Story 2, Lost in New York, Buzz says, beat that, you little... It is trap sniffer. Beat that little trap sniffer. We've landed on Pikachu's. So when we go down, get as much energy as you can, and you come up, explode like Pikachu. If you can't do that, I'll just do star jumps. Let's go. So yeah, Buzz says to uh, Kevin, he says, beat that little trap sniffer. Whew. Oh, I wouldn't fancy sniffing a trap, would you? Right, keep going. So explode, come down, Pikachu, down, Pikachu, as many as you can. We've got 20 seconds on the clock. Come on everyone, high energy. Let's go down and up. Pika, Pika, choo! Okay, let's do one more, no, two more together. Right, down, generate all that energy. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, last one. Let's get right up, up off the ground now. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, next question. In B Movie, which Disney character was tranquilized but illegally using honey? We are into squats again. So let's do a different variation. We do these ones. Squat, lunge, lunge. Actually yes, do a squat. So you go squat, lunge, lunge. And again, squat, lunge, lunge. And repeat that one, keep that going. So in B movie, 
The Disney character which gets tranquilized for illegally using honey is Winnie the Pooh. So Winnie the Pooh gets tranquilized. Right, you've got 20 seconds. One squat, two reverse lunges. Stay low. One squat, two reverse lunges. Come on. Keep it going. Okay, I'm gonna do a mega spin now. Mega spin, keep going everyone. Keep going, you've got five seconds on that exercise. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Okay, what are we gonna go with now? We've got crunch toe touches. So, like this one. We're gonna crunch and touch those toes for 40 seconds. Also, great news, there's a five minute bonus abs finisher if you fancy it. Let's go. So crunch, touch those toes. Yeah, we're gonna finish this 20 minutes. Have a little breather, and then finish with another little five minutes. I'm enjoying the abs for this, it's getting me, getting me strong in the core. Right, keep going. Oh. Keep going. Touch those toes if you can. Nikki, how many live streamers today? Oh, we've still got so many, 120,000. Even with everyone going. Oh, we've got 130,000. Even with schools going back, I love that. Even if, uh, I mean, maybe some schools are still doing it, even at school right now, live. Right, so, okay, 10 seconds. We're into our next exercise. What are we going to get today? We've got mountain climbers. So on the ground, mountain climbers for 40 seconds, starting now. Off we go. Question number 15. In The Incredibles, what is Violet's superpower? What is Violet Incredible's superpower? Come on, knees to chest. Hope you're enjoying the quiz today. Hope you're getting them all right. Right, keep going. Knees to chest, knees to chest. Come on, keep working. Keep working everyone, you've got 15 seconds. Right, can you speed up for the last bit? Can you speed up and go faster than you've ever been? Ready, let's go. Turbo, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, let's do a little spin. Okay, little spin into, oh, frog jumps. So maybe you've got these big lily pads on the ground, you've got to jump, fingertips to the floor, and then you jump, and you go across, all over the place, left to right, off we go, three, two, one, frog jumps, off we go. Next question, oh sorry, the Incredible, the Incredibles, uh, Violet Incredible has the superpower of Invisibility, she is invisible, she can turn herself invisible. So that was number 15, right, big jump. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, keep going, keep going. Big frog jumps, remember fingertips, touch the ground. You've got to get those arms straight down and really explode, get the height, get the distance. You're a frog, jumping from lily pad to lily pad. Good, okay, mega spin. Right. Come here, buddy. Three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, it's not a lot of rest, is it? It's not a lot of rest time. We have got oh another set of mountain climbers. So let's make these tougher. Do thrusters in, out, in, out, in, out. Let's do that. Really hard. Let's go. Ready? So in, out, in, out. In, out, and in, out. If you need to shake your arms off like I do, shake them off, recover a little bit, take a little few minutes, seconds to breathe, and then go back in. 20 seconds on the clock, in, out. Okay, next question we've got. In the film Brave, name Princess Marida's triple brothers, a triplet brothers. Well, that's a tough one. Right, keep going. In, out, in, out, in, out. And relax. So in the film Brave, name Princess Marida's triplet brothers. If you've got three brothers, what are their names? This is quite a tough one. Like what have we landed on? Crab? Oh, we're on, oh no, it's look. It's actually duck walks. So that was crab. It's duck walks. You ready for the duck walks? Then we go low. You can't do duck walks, just do a normal set of squats. So stay nice and low. Duck walks, right. The triplet brothers are called Harris, Hubert, and Hamish. 
That's the name of the three brothers, the triplet brothers in the movie Brave. Okay, this is our last exercise. Keep going. Keep going, come on, let's go. Touch as low as you can with those duck walks. It's the final move. 15 seconds to go, and we've got our five minute abs finisher. Come on. Oh, last little push. One more go. Come on, Joe. Stay down low. Three, two, one. Oh. Give yourselves a massive clap, everybody. Fantastic effort. Let's have a little breather. We're now going to go into the five minute abs finisher. I've got a few more questions, though. Number 17, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Any ideas? So well done, give yourselves a massive clap. Give yourselves a high five, round of applause. Another challenging workout. 20 minutes, 20 moves. We're now gonna go down on the ground for a five minute abs finisher to really focus on our, our abs, our obliques, our deep core muscles that are gonna help with our posture, help with our squats, our lunges. It's amazing to get good strength here. So, little drink. The question was, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? It's SpongeBob SquarePants. Right, so here we go, down on the ground. First exercise we're gonna do is a 20 second plank on our elbows. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, hold that. Okay, question number 18. Who falls in love with Donkey in Shrek? Is it A, Dragon, B, the Fairy Godmother, or C, Princess Fiona? Who falls in love with Donkey in the movie Shrek? Right, hold this exercise. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, we now come up. 20 seconds in a high plank. And the answer is, Dragon falls in love with Donkey and Shrek. So hold this position. High plank, high plank. Just wanna make it harder, just walk your hands away a little bit. So Donkey, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, Dragon falls in love with Donkey. Right, 10 seconds, hold it. Come on, five minute finisher. Think about your abs now, engage those core muscles, stay strong, four, three, two, one, relax. Next one, onto our side. 20 seconds on the side plank. Question number 19, there's only two more questions. Here we go. Which Disney film does the song, The Bare Necessities Come From? Which film is there a song called, It's the Bare Necessities? Right, hold this, hold it. Hold it. Don't drop, lift up, 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 up. And relax. The answer is Jungle Book. It's Baloo, isn't it? Baloo sings a song, The Bare Necessities, in the film Jungle Book. Right, left elbow on the ground, lift up. Okay, and the final question, are you ready for it? This is a tough one, I think could be the toughest one. Right, hold up, hold up. Come on, strong, 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 hold it. Stay up, don't drop. Get strong, come on, really push it, push through it. It's like any other muscle that needs to be trained, needs to be challenged. And relax. Here is question 20. What is the name of the gas station Woody and Buzz get left behind in at Toy Story, in Toy Story 1? Next one. Just lower it one leg at a time. So what is the name of the gas station which Woody and Buzz get left behind in on Toy Story 1? Let's go, come on left. To the right, kick, kick, ah, right, next I'm gonna do single leg bicycle crunch. So one leg stays on the ground, we crunch and twist, let's go. So the answer is the gas station in Toy Story 1, where Buzz and Woody get left behind, it's called Dynaco, Dynaco gas station. Did you get that one right? If you did, well done. If you got all of them right, well that's a tough quiz. I went through all the different types of movies and all different age groups. Oof. Ah, oh, relax. Okay, next one. This is a tough one. We stretch out and crunch up. Stretch and crunch. Off we go. Stretch and crunch. Stretch and crunch. Ah. Oh. Stretch. Seven seconds, stretch, and use those abs to crunch. Okay, next one. A little bit wider with the legs, come up. Oh, 
good. Come on, we've got two more exercises after this. Oh. If you can't come right into the sitting position, that's fine. You can just do little pulse. Ah. Okay. One more, reverse crunches. So hands by your side and then knees to the chest. Let's go, knees to chest. Knees to chest. Oh. Thank you so much to everyone that's tuned in today. Thank you for sticking around for the five minute abs. I'm not doing it on my own. Ah. Keep breathing. Okay, final exercise. We're doing a plank, but pulsing plank. So you go like this, and you dip down, and then up. This is gonna really hurt this one. So down, up, down, up. Little pulses with those abs. Come on, 10 seconds. Squeeze the abs, come on, contract it. Up, down, up. Oh. Oh. oh, that's the finisher, that is it. Five minute ab finisher. Fantastic quiz, fantastic energy today. We pushed ourselves, we've done some short, you know, some short rest periods. We've really worked every single muscle group. That's a fantastic effort today. Thank you for taking part. I'm back tomorrow. We uh, another, well, I'm not gonna tell you, it's an exciting one tomorrow. I've got more plan, more ideas coming out. Let's have a little stretch, and if you want to do a shout out, quickly put it in the comments and let us know, and we can do a couple of shout outs. Right, Nikki, let's have a stretch. First one, legs out nice and wide. Breathe in, stretch up. Exhale, and just touch down. Molly in Marshfield has done it every single day. Thank you, Molly. Good morning, Helen and Thomas in Buckinghamshire. Let's try and touch the left toe. Hold that stretch. Changing legs. We've got Isabel and Dylan in Manchester. We've got the Rooney family training together in Stirling. Next one, feet together. Just try and push those knees towards the ground a little bit if you can. Big shout out to all the children at Queensmead School in South Ryslip. We've got the Piers family training together in Dartmoor. Next time we're going to stretch our hip flexor, just hand on the bent knee, just stretch into, feel the stretch there. Whew, amazing, amazing day. Changing legs, and the final one for the day, Ruby and Amelia have done it in Bristol, and they haven't missed a single period with Joe. Thank you for your support, thank you for coming back. I'm enjoying it still, I've got loads of energy for it, so if you want me here, I'll be here, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., and every day this week. Uh, I need to order a new fancy dress outfit because I've just realised I've run out of fancy dress outfits. So let me know in the comments what you think I should dress up as. If you quickly put it down there, I can quickly look through and I'll pick the most popular one. So if you want me to dress up as an elf or a ballerina or a whale or a shark, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and order it this week and get it in time. Yeah, I should get it. It's Tuesday. So thanks again. Have a lovely day. Keep smiling. Stay positive, And I'll see you in the morning at 9am. Bye, everybody. Well done.